Well, I don't want you watching all of those horrible, violent television shows. Oh, great. Well, I'll just go watch the news. Oh, wait. Seriously, I mean, I heard this just earlier today. Someone talking about how, oh, their mother doesn't like them watching this show because they say it's too violent. And it's like, what are you talking about? Have you ever looked at the world around us? First off, there's a lot of violence in it. Second, there's a lot worse than violence. And third, are we not all adults here? I should like to think that those, especially that are our own elders, would respect us as adults. I mean, I understand they have this preoccupation with the idea that we're their children and we must be protected from the horrible badness of the world, but can't do it, first off, because we're going to be exposed to the world. It's like trying to protect a kid from wanting to have sex or something. It's not going to happen. And second, why would you even want to? I mean, do we not respect each other? And of course, I'm not saying that people should be exposed to violence specifically. But at the same time, I don't think that people should be completely protected from knowing that it exists or being exposed to it at all. There is a level of moderation that makes sense in this case. The point is that you cannot simply protect someone from something entirely. The issue is how are they exposed to it. And you know what? I personally would much prefer that people are exposed to the truths of violence when it comes to fiction. When it's not actually these horrible things that are happening in reality. But maybe that's just me. And not only that, but I think that you should be the one who is exposing people to these things. And not only that, but I do understand that you should have control over how children and others are being exposed to these things. But, again, the point is, you can't simply protect them from it entirely. Of course, this is just part of a wider problem of people having the world censored for them and not being treated like fellow human beings and instead being treated like idiots who simply cannot handle the facts of reality. And I just wish that you would actually take the responsibility instead of trying to shirk it entirely by never exposing someone to anything bad in the world, which then lends them to being exposed to it in any way, and often in the worst of ways. It's your decision. You can either not expose them to it at all, at which point they will be exposed to it, but not with your control behind it, or you can expose them to it by beating them for their entire lives so that they actually have it ingrained in them. It's the only way that they know how to relate with the world that they occupy. Or you can actually take the moderate position of controlling what they are exposed to, how they are exposed to it, and treating them like a fellow human being that actually deserves your respect and maybe giving them just a little bit of perspective about how bad these things are in reality. Maybe then, when they see it on the news, they won't simply be completely desensitized to it and will be able to appreciate the horror of the things that they are seeing and hearing about, but not remain complacent while being exposed to it throughout their lives. But that's just my opinion. What do you think? Long days and pleasant nights. <laughs>